Okay, guys. So I'm doing a debate April 13th with MC Toon about the shape of the earth. And it's going to be in Denver at Will Duffy's church. So I figured I would just review a little bit to prepare for the debate. And I said, hey, why don't I just listen to the debate MC Toon and I did about three years ago or something. So I was working and I just was listening to it. And he brought up spherical excess. And if you want to see something that is embarrassing, really embarrassing for Toon and the Globers, pay attention to what he says here about spherical excess and triangles on flat surfaces or triangles on spherical surfaces. It's quite hilarious. So, um, I know you were asked before, you better get this right. If you have a triangle sides one, one, and one, what are the internal angles? Uh, one, one, and one. I'm just kidding. You'd have... You'd need 180 degrees, right? Yeah. So you'd have 60, 60, and 60, yep. right? That's right. All right. So I have here, uh, you'll have to look at the stream. I have a, uh, it's different on the surface of a sphere. A spherical triangle has more than 180 degrees and less than mm -hmm. 540 degrees. So go to the peak of a mountain. Have two people on other mountains or structures that are high. Um, they tend to do this at night because what they'll do is they'll, they'll have a light or they'll build a fire there, right? These mm -hmm. older ones, they, they'd have a fire and then they'd have mirrors to focus it. And then what you do is you measure the angle between them. So we're talking like 20, 30, 40 miles distance between the points or, or yeah. anywhere in there, like yes. larger yes. distances. Okay. Many miles of distance. They do these in these large surveys. And they get these triangles and they measure these triangles and, and they, if we're on the two-dimensional surface, the sum of the internal angles must be 180 degrees. If mm -hmm. we're on a non-flat surface, then the angles are going to be more than 180 degrees, right? That's, that's just how it works on the surface of an object that is not flat. Um, you can measure these triangles. You get them. It's part of these long distance surveys and they have the actual triangles listed in them are they in are these, those in these straight uh, lines it's like between the points so they are they are uh azimuth measurements so just left to right not vertical okay so i asked him if they're straight lines because if you're looking from one place, one mountain top to another mountain top. There's no spherical aspect to that. It would be just a straight line. So that I asked him because I'm like trying to figure out what he's trying to say. And he exposes the whole thing and and basically shows that he doesn't even understand what he's trying to say. He's just in love with curvature. He wants it so bad. So a okay. spherical triangle does have a vertical component to it, mm -hmm. um, but they are they are not uh, measuring that particular vertical component. And there's a way to to use because so it's not a chord. A chord would be um, a line between two points, ignoring the curve of either a circle or a sphere. They are along the curving surface of a sphere. But if you were on a mountain top. And you were looking to another mountaintop, that would be a chord because that would be a straight line. You're looking from your theatolite to the fire or the light that's over on the other top of the mountain. You're not, it's not, you're not looking in a curve. Wow. Doesn't work on a flat surface? On a flat surface, the triangle would sum to 180 degrees. It'd work perfectly fine if the earth were flat. The sum of those angles would be 180 degrees. Come on, I'm, there we go. I'm, 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 I think I'm missing 
uh, I'm missing out on something so, here. Yeah, so I'm not understanding. I'll show something. you. Come on. It's... Because I think that if you have a triangle on a sphere, that it just wouldn't sit flat on the sphere. Yeah, like on the surface two, of two... a sphere, the the, the lines are curves. Yeah, they're curves on a sphere. Yeah. But if it was on a flat surface, you'd still have the same triangle yeah. and there just wouldn't be curves. Yeah. But the thing is... And you're saying that we can measure curves. No, we're just... Right? All we is measure is... Saying? All we're measuring is the azimuth. We're not measuring the vertical part of it. So... Okay. So this... this even though it is... There is a vertical component to it. These measurements don't include that. It, they don't need to. Listen to this. This is gold, Jerry. So go, they're saying uh, to, to help you visualize, have somebody at the top of the IDS tower. Okay. Um, somebody on the top of Mall of America. Okay. And then somebody on top of the, um, I don't know if you get down to Bloomington enough, but there's some some tall buildings on the west side of bloomington the like the 8400 tower yep get on yep. the peaks of those three and measure just stand on the the peak of the ids tower and measure the dist the angle between mall of america the and the 8400 tower just that angle right okay. then do the same from the other For locations the other two. that's yep. how you get that's how you get those spherical triangles tune this is embarrassing you need to take that spherical excess page down I can't believe you've had it up this long, and I can't believe you think this way. Okay. If I'm standing on top of a building, and you're on top of another building, and Craig from Fight the Flat Earth is on top of another building, and we're using a theodolite to look at each other at the tops of these buildings, there is no spherical excess because that's three points in free space. Three points. That's a triangle. That will be 180 degrees. You would have to measure the vertical component in order to get spherical excess. Take your page down. It's embarrassing. 